Uh, once upon a time, there was a hippopotamus named Harry. Harry lived in southern Africa and was affected by racism. <laughs> <laughs> he was a fan of the national cricket team. He was a great bowler and loved his leg spin. He'd got 348 wickets at test cricket. One day, Harry went to Canada. Here he saw lots of animals. <laughs> Which was great fun because he was related to lots of them and he hadn't seen them in a long time. Welcome to the animal park. Sent the Canadian moose. <laughs> um, and the hip, um, his, and the ostrich. <laughs> and the hippopotamus. They made best friends. <laughs> I'm really vain. Should we carry on? Uh, let's carry it on, go around with some animal noises interspersed in there. Okay, so you've got to put some sort of animal noise as well as a line of the story. Okay, let's go. Um, after he'd been to see the animal park, he went to see um, some friends of his who lived in the mountains, and one of them was a, a bear. Yeah. And the bear said, Here's my friend the sheep. <laughs> and the sheep said, here's my friend the duck. Really get really <laughs> quack, quack. Uh, it turned out the quack. duck was confused sexually and mentally and actually started going moo. And then the cow said, but that's me. Who? Moo. And then he wondered what would happen if he shoved the donkey through the keyhole. <laughs> Once the donkey was through the keyhole, he was chased by a dog. Woof. And then the lion came up and ate the donkey. And then the donkey ate the cat. Meow. A uh, lion reversed to a childlike state. Also meow. Lion ate a mouse. Squeak. <laughs> and then all the mouse family came to find the lion to beat him up. And then the horse trampled the family. <laughs> Nay. And then the hippopotamus, whose name I can't remember, went home and told everybody about his adventures. And the noise. What was this if not to make?